phrase Shandos was invented um, really in the late uh, 19th century um, d during during um, what's called an Irish reign of Havyochanar, sort of the first attempt to revitalize uh, the Irish culture with figures like Douglas Hyde, for example, and indeed uh, one of the one of the songs I'm going to sing tonight has a connection to him to some extent. But we could call it um, native Gaelic singing might be more accurate, mm. really. Mm. Uh, and what it is predominantly, though not exclusively, is a song form that's deployed without any accompaniment. Um, mostly in the Irish language, though not exclusively. And that's an important point to make because the the techniques and the the um, sort of um, attributes of mm. Shannon's song can be found in English song, English language Shannon's song, Qu quite mm. the same. Um, so there are different forms of it spread across the west of Ireland natively, shall we say, Connemara, um, very strong there, Donegal, um, where I grew up, West Kerry, and also in the Dacia in Waterford. And mm. they all have their own little kind of, they have their own repertoire, first of all, which is very interesting. They have, it's, it's a bit like they have different species, yeah. you know, running around yeah. the place, yeah. Di different species of song. And yet different there's a kind of a community. And I, I know that you're being <laughs> terribly modest by saying, you know, I just sang, but I also was privy to a lovely, a lovely postcard that came to your house this week and i would really love you to share it just for a moment and what came in the from your parents are still with us so tell yeah. us a, you know well, yeah. it was yesterday actually I, I was um i've been doing a lot of work outside uh because i'm not away i usually am away quite a bit and uh like a lot of people but maybe i'm away more than most because i mean that's how i how i live as a musician and so forth my mum wrote me a letter yesterday um I love her handwriting. I knew it was her handwriting straight away because she's always had the same handwriting. It's never changed. <laughs> I mean, she can actually write with her. <laughs> Nobody Beautiful. can write anymore. So this is this is her handwriting there. You know, it's just so sweet, isn't it? It's Asquelga in Irish. It's Asquelga, yeah. Dírot ir le tasúlagam gúil sibhgalair gúmá. And then she had found a book at home um, from the 1970s. And I was looking at it, this book here. Oh, by the way, I wasn't planning on showing this, but I know I'm making him do it because I love this it. This is not part of this is not my shtick. <laughs> in case you're wondering, but I opened it anyway, and then I found inside it this little photograph here, which is this drawing. Look at that! Wow. To which to which my mom said, "I remember." I I said to my mom, "I still remember that shirt." <laughs> <laughs> so I've been singing a long time, basically. Um, very long time so it's like um that's what i do every day i suppose you know i'm here in my workspace i thought that might be kind of the most honest representation of what i do in the studio yeah um, it's beautiful because you know, normally speaking I'm, I'm i'm hauling this lad over and i'm just there and i'm you know castigating myself for hours because i can't get something right and, and you've collaborated with so many people here. I know you're, you're going to, you know, sing for it in a moment. But I mean, I've I've seen you in so many different iterations, both solo with the gloaming, with the Afro Celt sound system. You've collaborated with Peter Gabriel, <coughs> Mika Muli. Do you enjoy the collaborative process? I do. I mean, it's always very different depending on who and how. It's it's as, as varied as as human beings themselves are. Um, but in essence, you are trying to reach across to people. Uh, you're trying to say, in the case of the gloaming. That was always very interesting to me because um, it it's a kind of a an experiment every time you make music with people like that because it's all improvised, and so mm. you're 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 sort of um, you're all speaking kind of different languages, and mm. yet they they must come together as a as a language. Uh, you know the fiddle players and the, you know it's it's not planned in the way you might expect. So the, it's very interesting because it's quite scintillating to operate that way. Yeah. The music be, of what happens. Yes, yeah. you're kind of letting things happen and you're still trying to control things because you don't want to make a complete fool of yourself, which can happen at any moment and <laughs> might, may happen yet this evening. <laughs> but but in essence, your your skill is to allow the wild horse to run, you know, and mm. and to to take it, take you places you, you didn't you didn't know existed 
this is a skull skarta. Your 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 whole project is called the skull skarta, or, uh, yeah. which is the Irish for for edge school. Um, where I grew up in Coolay, the townland is called Gortna Skarta, the field of the bushes uh, or hedges. And in fact, on, on my dad's land, my mom, and, my mom and dad's land, my mother's land, essentially, <laughs> there is a field called Parkeen the Skulla. Ah. And, and we know for a fact that there was a hedge school there uh, for, for hundreds of years. When I was a kid, I used to sing a lot when I, when I was supposed to be milking the cows. And the, um, the milking machine sounded very like this. Wow. And, and a 40 minute job used to take me about three hours. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I'd be just going through all my songs and uh, kind of trying to figure out how to sing them. So, you know, <laughs> that's what you do. So I'm just going to change the tuning in this for the next song, guys. So, Looky cows, yeah. You no, know, I'm not sure about that. They, they never said anything. But <laughs> and the next song that you're going to sing is um, another Irish song. This is uh, another song, uh, of course. <laughs> this is an interesting little song. Um, one of the first experiences I had in studio was with a wonderful musician who has passed some time ago, Michal O'Donnell. He played in an Irish band called the Bothy Band. You can get their music online. Uh, and this was one of their songs. It was also sung by Joe Heaney, the great Chano singer yeah. from Connemara. <clears throat> it's a sort of a love story, really. And a lot of the traditional songs that one finds in the canon are from the 19th century. And of course, they have all of the 19th century sort of mannerisms and social uh, mores and behaviors. So there's a tendency for them to be, I think, rather charmingly kind of innocent. Um, people are always going on about the dark side of the Irish past and the, you know, but I, my neighbours when I was growing up, they were all incredibly innocent characters, really. Mm -hmm. I wish there were more people like them uh, uh, these days. Uh, they, you know, and these songs belong to their world, a world of the plough and the horse and, and uh, connection with the natural world. So this is a, called Cossin Tu Goin, which means to twist the hair rope and basically the boy the boy sees a girl and falls in love with her and wants to call around to see her and he meets her mom at the door which is a bit of a challenge for him and she gets him to she's winding a hair rope because you you can use a hair rope to make chairs and stuff like that and chair seats and all that many things in fact back then and as as he winds the rope it becomes longer and longer until he's outside the door and then she slams the door and he's gone. No longer meet the guy. But it's actually really sad. Is everything okay with the sound, guys? It's really beautiful. Because I can make adjustments here. It's really beautiful. Okay. It's all good. Have I done it right now? I might mess up now, you know that. I'm just going to check here again, just to be B. The castle kind of sorrow in the wagon is not draw. Her loot no quill is cliche. Where did you go? She in ragged a hook she the cure now goes go to law. Tom sail no gold is bogo nish and sushi bon. Mahavian to loon be loon a story no Smavian to loon be Mahavian to loom, scar loom, Kahorloch dead free. Shame of Vilak nook, 
huge pleasure for me and uh, I also I think it got me thinking a lot uh, listening in earlier about my own journey and my own um, position here where I am and when I am and how I am so although we're in the we're heading into winter I always think of it's going to come again which would be the spring and then it'll all happen you know Sour, sour, bang, and gong. Ogamur fain and sour. Sour, a bween and no glegal. Ogamur fain and sour. Ogamur ling a o heel crave. Ogamur fain on sour. Sour a bui oli the grena Ogamur fain on sour. Bob Ogna belt in a maid in a tauri. Sua skak nook is she skak long. Kailini mashach a barn yale glegal. Ogamur fain on sour. Sour a sour a bang in the moan. Ogamur fain on sour. Sour a bween and no glegal. Fain and sour ling. O gummer ling, a o heel craving. O gummer fain and sour ling. Sour a bui o leaf a grainer. O gummer fain and sour ling. 